What's up, guys? And I'm back at it again. Uh, someone recently asked, hey, can we see a rogue build? A melee rogue build? And, uh, not gonna lie, wasn't as excited to make this one. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I know that you're probably watching. Nothing against you, just 100%. I just have a feeling like this build's not gonna work out too great. Um, now, there's a couple things that we're going to want to look at here. Obviously, if we're running a rogue, this rogue is going to be meant for melee, uh, according to the the comment. So, we need to make sure that we're choosing something that's going to have a decent chance to hit, a decent uh, agility for movement, but mainly attack. Now, we have a couple options. I kind of want to go Fey, just to be careful. Keeps us immune from lightning. Gives us two charisma, which is good for magic defense. And only a 5% penalty in mountains. I think that's what we're going to do. Just keeps us safe from the lightning. Which is a major issue if you cast any ab amount of abilities. Which is how most people get off damage in this game. Alright. Since he's going to be melee, I'm going to need some levels in strength. And that's a problem. Unless... Well, even if I made him a melee charisma build. I mean, it, it wouldn't cost much to use the attacks. Eh, we'll, we'll think about it. We'll think about it, guys. Um, <clears throat> yeah, let's just go cut top. Let's make him super short. Well, here, let's think about this. Do we need to dodge bows? Not so often. Barely anything uses bows. Bows aren't that powerful. Rogue. All I think about when I type in Rogue is I think about like Rogue Galaxy or any of the other games titled Rogue. Ugh. Alright, so let's think. Obviously, we want him to be able to deflect melee attacks, so let's get his parry high, and we have to worry about his health to movement ratio, right? If we make him super scrawny, he can move around quick. Beefy is going to have a nice amount of health. Let's go 3% health boost here. Alright, and now we're going rogue. <laughs> so, I love the plus 5 when rolling your starting battle die. Getting to go first in the majority of cases is pretty ideal. Shadows and Dust, the 17 damage and leap back. Also very cool, because it allows you to get some distance from the enemy. But then, you're a melee fighter. So, it's not that beneficial. Uh, lose some health to gain back your essence. Also pretty dope. So, we'll go ahead and run with this. And we got to decide where we're putting our primary stats. Now, we're definitely going to need some melee damage. Let's go ahead and put two points there to start. We're not going to go for a defensive build on this one, guys. So, hit chance with ranged weapons and magic is affected by agility. I think that's a fair split to start. Let's go stars to start. Guaranteed victory on the first fight, so. <laughs> uh. 
I mean, we'll definitely want charge. That way we can jump back in afterwards. What's the point of the jump back then? We gotta be able to, like, throw weapons, but we don't want to give up our best weapons. Alright. So we're probably not gonna go for Arcane. I definitely see some value in Arcane. Like, maybe one to two spells, but no. Now... It's tough to decide what weapon you're going to start with, and re-rolling these constantly doesn't have high value. But it would be a dual-wielding rogue is probably where we're going to put our strategy, and then the ultimate warrior in the end. He won't need any of these shout abilities, which means that we're probably also not going to be going for survival abilities either. We don't need alignment at this point in the game. Speaking of, let me see if we've had any rollback or change notes in the past day. I'm not seeing anything. Okay. Yeah, he's he normally works, like, Monday through Friday, not over the weekend. Alright, so Warfare. So we have Sword, Axe, and Club Mastery. As far as it goes, we're probably going to be running with, like, an Axe or a Club. We'll hopefully try and run with a Sword, but it's probably going to be an Axe or a Club. Our very first talent point we'll put into sword, though. And we'll probably just re-roll talents, like, when we're already at, like, level 20 or something, or if we hit a brick wall. Alright, so this dagger is basically the same as my current, just one higher damage. Um, the one higher damage is okay, but we're just not going to waste our time on it. We do have those extra points in strength, but that also means that our attacks cost more to do. That's the problem with adding points in strength, in my opinion. Oh, come on. I'm done for. I need that to hit. Big hit. It wouldn't let me back up. I'm done. Yeah. Ooh. It's my only choice. Oh, that would have been huge. Ooh. He's got zero energy left. He's going to have to rest after this. I'm going to rest in his face since he's forced to rest in Shadow's Dust. Can't believe we pulled out the win on that. No way. Whew. We'll try and take on this guy next. Look how low my health is, jeez. I'm practically done for already. Huge, I'm backing up there. He's forced to rest, I get my jump back. So big damage off on him. Now I take half damage. He's too far away still so I can get a free rest in. Catch him with a medium. Yeah! What a turnaround. We're going to struggle without some hit points. So, 
Let's go ahead and add that now. <laughs> Just work on our hit chance and damage with swords. So we're going to grab our first skill here. These ones are nice, but I prefer the lower damage, higher chance to hit, and being able to target body parts. The charge will be very useful at level 6, though. I want to go for arms first again. It's going to be super useful. And this guy's going to have the same stuff till we're level 6. The bonus health should help a little, but not by a ton. What a joke. Got him. We can now buy armor. Well... After I level up again. I'll be like 2 XP short from this combo. I should have taken on the other guy. Big stun. Big crit for me. Normal attack. Nice. Oh, he knocked me back. We'll rest. We'll jump back next to it. Since it's basically guaranteed, let's go power, actually. Now the next one's a crit. We can do our jump back to make him fret. Ooh. We'll go for a medium. Dang. Oh, Andy gave up. Three away from a level up. Another parry, okay. Hmm. Nice. Big break there. Huge. Alright, hit chance buff is here. Nice, they can't regen health now. So even if they rest, yeah, they give up. We're just barely holding it together in these fights, but, you know, it's just enough, and that's ideal. Um, Alright, so at this point, we definitely need more damage, but then there's going to be way too much essence cost. So we got to go one and one on that. stamina and strength. And keep going with our sword mastery. Alright, so we got the armor smith now. And since I'm not dual wielding for like another 10 levels, let's go ahead and pick up a shield.
Alright, so we got some improvements there. Let's go ahead and snag these boots off. So it's four defense, but hey, that's something, right? Two more levels till we can actually get other gear. Here's my problem with this build, though. Like, yes, we have this cool jump back, right? But it's not going to be tanky. So it's not going to be deflecting all the mage hits. It's not going to be stopping anything like that. Um, it's going to have okay chance to hit. You know, like your normal fighter would. But overall, it's basically gonna become Karen but without the defense that we added to her and less tanky it's still gonna have the jump back which is cool but ineffective against any mage and it doesn't have all the stuns that Karen gets Maybe getting off more damage with the dual wielding will be a bunch of fun, and that might really change this character up a bit, uh, since we're not going tanky with it, right? But currently, those are my concerns with this build. I'm hoping for absolute excitement to occur and me for, me, for me to be completely wrong here, and this to be the most OP build that I've built yet. And that's the thing, I've tried some really interesting builds so far, guys, and some of them turned out to be very, very powerful. A lot more powerful than what we might have expected. And we get distance. Okay. Distance again. Hmm. Hmm. That's the case. Just need a quick tap. Hmm. Each time I add to strength, I'm going to need more stamina. I can get back some of my essence using that one ability for some of my health. But even my health is pretty low at the moment. We're definitely going to need more attack, so let's just focus that for now. And hopefully the sword mastery plus the attack makes it very easy to get my hits off. Because the more hits I can pull off easily, the less um, the less strength I actually need. And the less essence, because if you're hitting, then you don't have to worry about your misses, right? Big block by him there. Another big one by him. 72% chance to hit. Quit, like, quit parrying, my guy. 82 he parries. What the heck? Just take a breather now. Interesting. I 
think they're out of spells. Big jump back. Nice. I mean, currently it's kicking butt. Quite happy with uh, its current outcome. Because the biggest weakness a lot of builds have is their hit chance. So if this one can hit, like, we're in a good spot, right? Let's get some distance. Ooh, he blocked the 88. And the 68. Not the 96, though. <laughs> That's good. I was going to say Blood Pack might have been a bad choice there. Oh crap, I forgot. He's got multiple spells. Good job, shield. Now he's done. Boom. Nice. Hmm. All right, buddy, calm down. Oh, I needed that to hit. He'll come in. Big. I had a feeling he was going to throw. Okay. Dang it. Moving in closer wasn't going to protect me from Frost. He could have gotten a physical with it as well. My shield was blocked. If I rested, I was for sure dead. Best thing I could have done was moved away and hoped he moved in. Damn. That's rough. Nice. Let's get our shield up. Nice and easy one. Not enough for a level, but... This last one should get us there. Hopefully. Uh, bye. I mean, he had no armor and 20 health, like. More sword mastery. That puts us to level 6 as well, so let's see what's in the shops. Okay, same old junk. Excuse me, I'll pay 100 for that one more damage. Oh, wait, wait, we did have a better sword. Darn it. I'll pay 200 for that one more damage. 
Watch another one just keep showing up. <clears throat> So we're going to be getting lots and lots of help soon. Probably just go for these boots and maybe the legs, since they're nice and cheap as well. Alrighty. So either we farm for one more level or we got to take on the boss now. Either way, it's not too huge of a difference. And we're definitely going to go for each of the body part aims as well. Because as we get our damage up and our to hit up, we definitely want to be able to... Ooh, but a charge would be very useful. So that one's going to come very soon, but <laughs> it won't be first. Alright, so we got what we needed. Now, do we level up one more time? Hmm. Let's do it. Let's level up one more. If I lose to this knight on the first one, then I'll uh, just go face him straight up. He's going to need to rest here. All right, guaranteed power attack. He moved back in, so we'll move out. And he's low energy, so we can recover as well. Nice, let's walk in now that my shield's up. Big block by him. He gave up. Yeah, it looks like they fix XP for higher levels, but for lower levels, it's harder to level. Or is that just me, guys? Oh, we hit the breastplate. The only spot we didn't want to hit. You rested so early. Weird. GG. Yeah, only getting 70% of the level here from all four fights is definitely lower than before. Feel free to go back on my VODs and confirm, guys, but it feels definitely a little bit lower than what it was. Careful. What are you trying to do? Kill me? Alright, all he's got left is his chest, so if we can break that, then I can do a jump back kill. Nice. Yeah, all four of them got me to 75% of a level. That's kind of rough. will hit everything! 
See, this one I only got a 64% hit chance and all he has is 7 defense. I need higher. I need to hit. And I won't stop until I can hit. If last one of you. <laughs> uh... They're going to run into some problems right around now. Okay, that's all of their armor gone. Now all my hits are crits. And uh, let's get my shield back up. Go ahead, cast the spell. What, you scared? Yeah. In your face. By one. One XP away. Ugh. Yeah, six fights go from level six to seven. I realize that this is a lower level zone, guys. Like, that much is absolutely fine. But I've done this many times where I get to level seven, then I take on the champion once I'm already level seven. I did it recently on my bard and my uh mage on a test run big kill definitely enough to level up let's go hit chance again Let's go ahead and add one more strength, and then we'll have to focus Stam next. Look at that. That's a nice sword. I'll take it. It's plus three damage, plus one defense. Can't use it till I level up after this next fight, but, like, that's an ideal sword to be going to the next town with. As far as this part of the shop, Axe Mastery, nope. <laughs> a new chest plate would be nice. The current shield's not bad. A new one could be better, but I plan on dual wielding, so let's focus on my chest. Get swole! Uh, before we go here... Now let's keep saving for the other one. All right, huge Charles. Let's see what you got. I expected a shout. He gives me the free hit. I'll take my power shot right there. We'll rest since we're out of range. Even though he could still use a shout, he was low energy. Right, so that's all of his armor broken. He's going to have to recover soon as well. Yep, now he's got to recover. So we'll go for legs here. We'll go headshot after his rest. He comes in close and we can do a jump back kill. Boom. Huge Charles down already. You know what? Rogue fighter. Not half bad early game. I'm going to have to give credit where credit's due. Good suggestion. Good comment. Um, not bad. Got to give it some level of credit. Let's go one more attack there. And for now, take some stars. So we became a champ. It's going to tell me to move over to Shackle. And then let's go on our adventure. Do you refuse and earn four gold? Oh, wait, wait. It's the other way around. Refuse for the intellect. No. <laughs> I'll take the stars. It's fine. The intellect would be okay, but whatever. Not a big deal. Do 
Chance to hit, extra stab. And boom, Swordmaster already up to seven. We're going to be dual wielding like pretty darn soon, actually. If I'm not careful. Uh, let's equip that in the main hand. And check out the fights here. Remember, this is where we can be kicked in a hole very, very easily, so. We could also exploit the kick in the hole thing. For our own gain. Yeah, I was going to say, he cut off my arm, didn't he? I can't attack his legs anymore, and I can't... All I can do is shield attacks. No. That's bad. This is very bad, actually. Um, can I still attack while I'm doing shield block? So he boosted his hit chance. I think it's going to be tough to jump over him right here. Ah! Such bull. Still almost broke through him while missing an arm. I, I wanted to try and jump over him, but he was just too far away from me for me to pull it off with my, like, three agility. Um, First defeat coming in. Well, actually, I think I had one other. Yeah. Yeah, I had one other. Not bad, though. I mean, he made it to level 8. He's a decent warrior. He's got some, uh... Ah, oh, there we go. There was an ant crawling on me. I was like, if you keep feeling something crawling on my hand. Alright, I think it's gone now. <laughs> uh, yeah, guys. If, uh... If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you guys want to see more of this rogue fighter, clearly it's starting to work out. It's decent. We might want to grab a couple other skills that would, like... We, let's look at them right now. Um, charge would be good for leaping back into combat. Um, throwing the weapon, I don't really like the idea of. I hate that. But grapple and shove. We could literally just grapple our opponent, flip sides, and shove them, and try and send them off of the edge. Um, or even gale them off of the edge. Pretty cheap, and it's really only going to help us in this next, like, set of map. And once we're out of this zone, we probably won't touch those skills for a very, very, very long time. So me personally, I prefer not to waste my points on things that are temporary. I prefer to use them on things that are going to be a little bit more long-lasting. We'll charge back into combat over here. And we'll also snag our other one, the attack head. So we have all of the directional or physical point attacks. And if we notice, Shadows and Dust, 96% hit chance now. So our hit chance is pretty darn good with all the points we're putting into attack. Um, if you're enjoying the build so far, please like and subscribe. Check out some of my other content. And uh, let me know in the comments down below if you want to see a continuation of this. A little bit more of Karen. She's basically at the end of her rope, though, until more content comes. Or if you guys want to see a little bit more of that defensive bard build. Um, I'm waiting for him to fix the XP properly and just make sure before I continue that one. But if you definitely want to see more of it, please let me know in the comments. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.